tired, your poor, your huddled masses. The immortal words of American poet Emma Lazarus ring especially true at the Seret border crossing in Romania. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian refugees have made their way here, and as they cross the border, this tent is one of the first things that they see. Run by the Federation of Jewish Communities in Romania and the Joint Distribution Committee, volunteers serve hot food to thousands each day. This tent is the refugees' first encounter with their new reality. They receive hot soup, tea, coffee, clothing, baby supplies, a hug and a smile. They get some human warmth and literal warmth inside the tent, where they can rest and think about where they'd like to go next. You know, I, I want to be here too. Another thing is to help show what democracy can do as opposed to what communism and tyrannical governments do, is my thing. I want, we want to help people and they want to hurt people. More than three and a half million Ukrainian refugees have so far fled the Russian invasion. And that number is growing quickly. The Romanian government, local and international organizations have all banded together to help. If he is Christian or Jewish or another, for, for us it's important if he's a human and we help the human. The Romanian Orthodox Church has also mobilized a team of volunteers. Church is helping a lot here. It's a very big thing in Romania. We are uh, Orthodox Christians. It's our religions and um, we help people. That's what we do. For their part, Romania's small Jewish community, which numbers only 7,000 people, has organized accommodation for Ukrainians. I'm standing here in the city of Brasov in central Romania and as you can see behind me there's this beautiful synagogue that was built in the early 20th century. It's one of the largest synagogues in Romania even though the Jewish community here in Brasov is quite tiny. Before uh, the people uh, go uh, to Israel or the other places they uh, have a few days that they need to stay somewhere. So our uh, community was very involved from the first moment. We tried to resolve hotels, to send them kosher food and things like this here in the middle of the country. Rashov's only certified kosher kitchen is also hard at work, preparing meals for newcomers. I don't feel good at all about this situation. When I see these children, I feel terrible that we've gone from the COVID-19 pandemic to this. I moved here from Israel three years ago after having lived there for 36 years. I have grandchildren there, so when I see these kids, I just feel awful. In the capital city of Bucharest, the Jewish Community Center has meanwhile set up a hotline, prepared makeshift beds and supplies for refugees. As Jews all over the world, I think, we know better than maybe any other people how it is to run from pogroms or from when you are kicked out from your home. So we sympathize not only with our brothers and sisters, but also with all the refugees in Ukraine. People from Russia and Belarus have also been calling, according to Valeria Sharon, a local volunteer. They're short of people who speak Russian, so I just decided to help. It's a very important thing, plus it has to do with the my nation as well, because I, I'm from Russia, and uh, it's a very important thing for me. It's very close to me. Romania opened its borders to Ukrainian refugees as soon as the war erupted. But many have plans to make their way to Western Europe or even America, all in the hopes of finding refuge and to wait out the storm. From the Jewish Community Center in Bucharest, Romania, Maya Margit, reporting for the Media Line.